Hello everyone, my name is Bethany and this is my channel Thani's Thoughts. Today I'm doing a book haul because a couple of weeks ago I went to Barnes & Noble for the first time in literally months and I went a little crazy <laughs> um, because I just realized a lot of my physical books are not as diverse. My, e my Kindle is much more diverse than my actual bookshelves and I felt like I needed to fix that so I just went and bought a whole ton of diverse books and I did it during the week of Juneteenth, which is when a lot of people were encouraging to do um, Blackout, the bestseller list. So I predominantly stuck to those. I mean, there was a couple that I did that were, maybe a couple that I did that were white authors and a couple of own voices that were queer. So I was just going to go over some of the things that I got. Some of these are actually, they're all on my feet, which is why I'm looking down below. Some of these are actually going to be included, already mentioned in my pop culture readathon TBR. So I'll link that up above if you want to check that out. I'm super excited for these. So I'm just going to get into it and share them. It's going to be fun. The first book I got was All the Stars and Teeth, which is, um, the bookseller actually kind of sold this to me, which is fine. She was really fun and she was really delightful. Um, and it's autographed copy, which I'm a sucker for a signed, a signed copy of a book. Apparently she's from Australia and she happened to come into the bookstore and um, signed it. Yeah, even a cute message. That's kind of fun. Pirates of the Caribbean meets like mermaids, but like not like happy mermaids, like siren terrifying scales and teeth mermaids. So, which sounds like a lot of fun, and I'm here for that. I'm hoping this is a standalone. I don't think it's a series, but I'm honestly not too sure. The next book I got was everyone's been raving about this one. Obviously, The House and This Reliancy by T.J. Klune. This is one of the ones that I'm going to be doing for the Pop Culture Readathon, and I'm super hyped for it because everyone has been loving it, and I cannot wait to read it. Yay! So it's basically kind of like a magical realism fantasy. Um, a guy goes to a house with children that have mysterious powers that are kind of darker mysterious powers they're like a little bit of so they're like a group of misfits essentially they uh and there's a queer romance which i think is between the guy who's investigating the kids and like the social worker who works with the kids yes like i said everyone's been raving about it tj clune just got named a usa best-selling author so that's really exciting for him i am so excited for that one the next one i got is the stars we steal by alexa dawn um, this is a sci-fi retelling of Opet Johnny Austin's Persuasion. I recently read Brightly Burning, which is a sci-fi retelling of Jane Eyre, one of my favorite classics of all time. Really liked it. It follows really, really close with the novel, so I really, really appreciated it and I really enjoyed it. It wasn't the best thing. There was a couple of the things that the, that the twist did was not as strong as I think Jane Eyre is, but I still really enjoyed it. And I feel like Persuasion is a Jane Austen novel that does not have enough retellings because Persuasion is so, so good. I'm really excited about it. I'm looking forward to this. The next book I got is A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. I don't get a chance to read books who have authors of the same name as me, so that's always really exciting. And it's basically about two friends something happens. Oh, a murder happens, apparently. A murder trial um, starts and it kind of causes issues between the friends and issues in the world and society they live in. So mermaids and black author. Yay. I've heard really good things about it. There's been a lot of really positive things and same name. So also really exciting. The next one I have is The Winter Duke like Claire Eliza Bartlett. This is a sapphic romance. The main character is in a kingdom. She has like brothers, a bunch of brothers and sisters, and they all come to some sort of sleeping sickness, and she ends up uh, becoming the duke, as well as inheriting her brother's bride. So I've heard the romance is really, really good. I heard the world building's kind of weak, but... And the cover is just really gorgeous. So yeah, I'm just here for it. I really want to check it out and I'm excited for it. The next one is With the Fire on High. This one is getting a lot of rave reviews. Elizabeth 
Acevedo, Acevedo, I'm solely saying that wrong. So sorry. She got pregnant in high school, but she cooks these amazing things. She is struggling to be a single mom, struggling to put her finished high school. And everyone's raving about her cooking, but she's like, it's never going to come of anything. Like, I'm never going to make it big or anything. And she starts practicing her cooking. Everything by Elizabeth, everyone's giving rave reviews to. Um, Black author. Yeah, I'm just really excited to check it out. I'm really excited to read it. I actually think of my book club's doing this in August. So I'm really, really excited for that. The next one's actually a little bit different. This one's a memoir. This is All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. Um, this is about... Uh, George's experience as growing up as a queer black man um, and his struggles with that. Again, I've seen rave reviews. I've seen a lot of people say how beautiful it is and really highlights his experience. I'm really, really excited to check that out. And the point of reading diverse uh, um, voices is learning new stories. So this is definitely going to be a new story for me. and I'm looking forward to it. The next one I got is Intercepted by Alexa Martin. This is a black author. I want to say it's a black romance or a biracial, um, interracial romance. And it's sports romance. But I've seen this book around like a while ago and I didn't notice that it was a sports romance. So I don't know. It looked, or a romance at all. I don't know. It just didn't strike me as that when I saw the cover. So I kind of looked over it. When I was looking at recommendations of black authors for romances and I found out this was a sports romance, which is one of my favorite tropes. I love sports romances. So then I was like, I definitely need to check this out. So this is the first book in her series, I believe. I think she has a couple more from the same like world. Super excited about that. The next one I got is The Wedding Party by Jasmine Gullery. Gullery? I really love The Wedding Date. I've heard mixed reviews of the proposal. Um, but I've heard a lot of really good reviews about wedding parties still. That's very, that's very similar to wedding dates. So sounds like a little bit enemies to lovers. So um, like a best man, bridesmaid situation. Super stoked. Here for it. Sounds great. And ugh, the gold in this cover is like really pretty and shiny. It's kind of hard to see. The next book I got was Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye. Ray. Again, last names. Not my strong suit. A friend of hers who's also a bodyguard. As she goes viral online, he invites her to stay at Sanctuary at his farm while the, her viral fame blows over and uh, feelings ensue. Um, I've seen some really good things about it. The first book's The Right Swipe, and I feel like this one either people love and don't like the other one or the other people love the other one and don't like this one. But I'm really excited to check it out and see how it is. The next one is A Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson, um, also a black author. This one, I mean, obviously it has all the awards, all of them. This is actually a middle grade book and I had seen it a while ago. I think it's been out for a really long time and never had checked it out. And um, I don't know, I just thought now was a good time and with everything happening. And, um, and I've always used to love Newbery Award medal winners when I was growing up and reading middle age more frequently. So I'm really excited to check it out and I think it's just about her and just about her life and yeah yeah it's a memoir I'm really looking forward to it because I've heard really really good things and the next one I have another middle grade Dear Martin by Nick Stone again something a book that I've seen a while and around it's about a black kid who is just trying to get through life and ends up being getting arrested for something and then he gets involved um with a shooting that happens and things ensue from there so I just feel like it's a really good story to hear right now and I've heard also very good things about it so yeah definitely um want to check it out oh and Dear Martin is because he starts uh, addressing uh, a journal of his to uh Martin Luther King the next one I picked up was Pride by Ibi Saboy. Saboy? Pronunciation, man. Not my strong suit. This is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice. Black author, black retelling, which I'm totally here for. Um, I believe it's set in, I want to say New York, and it's between Darius and Zuri. Zuri, I'm thinking, I'm thinking is Elizabeth, and Darius being Darcy, so absolutely super stoked for this definitely want to read this and check it out 
um, I'm all here for, for this one for sure. Um, just because retellings of traditionally white stories is so great. I feel like Jane Austen would have been totally behind that because she was all about marginalized stories for her time, even though you may not know it. And the next ones I got were Beverly Jenkins' Tempest. Um, Beverly Jenkins being one of the OG black romance authors in her of her time. Um, this is a this looks like it's in the Wyoming territory mail order bride. That's always a really fun trope that I that I've I've liked those in the past. So she basically just kind of was brought there more as a way to take care of his daughter that's still alive because his first wife he hasn't gotten over. So yeah. That sounds really good. Here for it. And I've wanted to read all the Beverly Jenkins. And then this one I also picked up as a black author. This is Sweet Talking Lone Lover by Tracy Livesay. Ooh, kind of like a small town romance. She tries to go to, sh to a small town to shut down a factory. It does not go well. And the mayor gets in her way. Man, that sounds like a, that sounds like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> all right. I'm totally here for that. That sounds great. That's how Hallmark movies always start. And I'm going to kind of switch because I watch quite a bit of them. All the Right Places was actually supposed to be a book club read that um, unfortunately didn't arrive in time for me to join the book club, unfortunately. But um, I've heard really good things about it. This is a boy named Finch and a girl named Violet. And um, Finch is kind of having a hard time, um, you know, dealing with depression and things. Ooh, I might have to use this actually for my pop culture readathon because I'm supposed to be doing something with mental health. Violet is struggling with the death of her sister, and they meet, and um, things happen from there. I've also I've heard a few people not really like like this, but mostly I've heard good things about it. So, oh, it's by Jennifer Niven. I'm willing to give it a shot. Bummed that I missed the chance to read, discuss on my book group, but I'm still definitely willing to read and check it out. So you can see I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. So, um, this actually order was from Love Sweet Arrow, which is a all romance bookstore in Illinois, and they sent me a little note, which was very sweet. So I start off with My Darling Duke by Stacey Reed, also a black author. This is about, this sounds really great. <laughs> now I remember why I ordered it. It is about a wallflower who is desperate to help her family's fortunes and decides to engage herself to a reclusive duke that no one ever sees. And um, in doing so, she transforms herself, but then the duke shows up. Sounds really good, and I've heard really good things about Stacey Reed, too. The next one I have is Beverly Jenkins again. This is Forbidden. I really wanted to read this because of um, the recommendation from her channel is called Falling for Romance, or her, her bookstore is called Falling for Romance. Um, and her name's Brie. Unfortunately, she took her YouTube down, but our, she had a video about not just books from Black authors, but books from Black authors that, and stories in fiction that deal with racial issues. And this was one of them. He is white passing, she, but he's white passing, but he's Black. And he's engaged to a white woman, and but he starts falling for a Black woman who he meets, um, who is obviously black and not white passing. I really love that there's a struggle of racial issue here in this and it sounded really really good and I just like that, that that's a discussion to have in a novel especially a romance. Totally here for it. I'm really really excited about this one. And this one I'm especially excited about because everyone has been raving about it and I loved the first book so much. This is Take a Hint by D hey Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. The first one was Get a Life by Chloe Get a Life Chloe Brown. Danny Brown is Chloe's sis um, older sister, I believe. I think Chloe was the middle sis the middle sister. Everyone's been raving about it and saying really good things about it, and I'm super super excited about it that it's finally here. Yee! So yeah, really really excited to read that one. This is called Along for the Ride by Nini Grace, also a black author. This is a trope that sounds great, which is a road trip, and I think there's also one bed trope. So that's all I need to know. And like, and then it sounds like an enemies to lovers. Excited about that one. Sounds good. And the last one, but definitely not least, which is also a Beverly Jenkins, is Indigo. Black author Beverly Jenkins. And Indigo is considered one of her best works. Um, I think Brie also talked about it in her video. And I've seen a lot of people talk about Indigo being a really, really good book. 
Okay, it's in regards to the Underground Railroad. I'm super, super, but it's romance. So I'm super hyped for it. I'm really excited to read it and check it out. And yeah, I think it's definitely one of the books that, um, one of her earlier books and definitely one of the books that put her on the map. I'm really excited to check it out. I'm really, really excited to read it. And there you have it. That is my predominantly own voices slash buy, buy out black bestseller book haul that I have. I'm really excited to read these and get into these. That was my book haul. It's been a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed all the things I've gotten. I don't know if I have any bookshelf for them anymore. <laughs> bookshelf space right now for them. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. Um, social media is all down below. I click on the thing, click on the bell if you like so you can find out when I post things. Usually I try to post things every Friday and every other Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye!